Beginning today, we have the subject of where are the dead? Where are the dead? We will consider the various doctrines of the dead under six main headings. Physical death, spiritual death, immortality of the body, immortality of the soul, the intermediate state, and the five departments in the underworld of departed spirits and eternal death. First, the subject of spiritual death, Ephesians 2, 1 and 10. We have the idea of spiritual death plainly stated. What is spiritual death anyway? It is simply the separation of a man from God because of sin. Isaiah 59, 2 says, But your iniquities have separated between me and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. And in Ephesians 2, And you hath he quickened, that is made alive, or resurrected, who were dead in trespasses and sins, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We have other statements teaching the same idea. The idea of people being spiritually dead. Adam's penalty was death the day that he sinned. This could not refer to physical death, for he lived 930 years after that day. It could only refer to spiritual and eternal death because of being cut off from God by sin. Adam's soul lost life the day he sinned. He lost the eternal life that he would have had and he did have before he sinned. He did not lose natural life that day or his soul would have ceased to function. Man's natural life exists of itself, separate and apart from God. For sinners continue to exist separate from God. They do not have to be in God in order to continue to live. Separated from God because of sin, they continue to live as we see on every hand. Spiritual and eternal life cannot be given until man is resurrected from death and trespasses and sins and united to God. All right, now resurrection from spiritual death. In Ephesians 2, we are told of being quickened and raised up from dead and death and trespasses and sins. The Greek word for quickened is a poi and means to resurrect, make alive, and quicken. It is translated made alive in 1 Corinthians 15.22 referring to the physical resurrection of all men. It is translated, give life, in 2 Corinthians 3, 6. And it's translated, quicken, in John 5, 21, and other scriptures. Sinners are all considered spiritually dead, even when they are physically alive. Paul wrote of people in 1 Timothy 5, 6 this way, she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Jesus referred to it when he said, let the dead bury their dead. He could not mean let the physically dead bury the physically dead. That would be an impossibility. But he did mean, that's all he could have in mind. Let the physically, let the spiritually dead bury the physically dead. And he said to the young man who was alive spiritually, you go and preach the kingdom of God. When they are saved, when men are saved from sin and united to God again, then they are spiritually resurrected to walk in newness of life. So that's the idea of spiritual death. 